What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. So today I'll be showing you how to upgrade your SATA and SSD drive in the VORK V1 Plus. So I'm ready to install my 2.5 inch hard drive. I've got my hard drive here. This is a 500 GB. You can, I believe you can install a maximum of two TBs in this. So I've got my screwdriver, my pry tool, and also what they've given us in the bag, the screws and the frame. So let's get it open and it will make more sense to us when it's open. You've got one screw there that you need to take out. All right, and then just like the Mac Mini, twist to open. There. So here we are. So here is the connection for your hard drive, the SATA port. Okay, so the frame goes on like this and one end will screw there and the other end will screw onto there. And that will just ensure the hard drive is secure and it's not going to fall out of place. So I'm going to do this very quickly. And we've got two black screws. So four identical screws are going to be the silver ones. And the two black screws are going to go in there. So let's quickly do this. So I've got the four screws attached. So I'm going to connect it to the SATA port first. So if you carefully just connect that, push from the back there. So you'll hear it click in and then you just align these two screws and screw them on. So if I just do that. That is it guys, hard drive installation done. Um, 2.5 inch hard drive okay you can see it comes out a little bit but when I put this lid on there should be no problems at all let's see there you go so the lid's gone on nicely and my upgrade is done so that is how easy it is to install the hard drive I'm going to open this up further now because I want to show you you can actually swap out the SSD what you need to do is open three screws you've got one two and one on the board so let's get them open first of all very quickly. That's it. So you open those three screws. You can leave the hard drive on there. That's not going to make a difference. If we flip that over, now you have to pry the top open. So those three screws were actually holding the top a lid closed. So maybe you can start from the back, which is easier. And you grab one of these pry tools and it's, it's quite easy to get open if you just work your way around it you'll hear a few clicks don't, don't be worried at all because they're just clips that hold it shut there we go i've nearly got it open and that's it the lid's open be careful when you open it because there is a cable on there it's a power button cable you don't want to pull that off so here we are the internals for this device you can see the CPU fan leads to the exhaust on the back. So you've got ventilation there. So it's nicely made. I really like this. So the, here's the SSD. You just open that screw, pull it out and put a new one in. You can see the other parts inside this box. So and you saw how easy it was to access. So now I'm going to put the top back on. Just clicks in place with these so it's all done so that tops on nicely now on the back we've already got our hard drive installed we just put the lid back on so i've lined it up it's gone in now you just twist it now you need to put these three screws back on So there you have it guys, that's how you upgrade your hard drive and SSD in the VORK V1 Plus. I hope you guys found this video useful. I've already done a full review on this mini PC and if you missed it, I will put the links in the description so you guys can check it out. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys.